looking pretty eerie here in Superstitions. Alright, we are in Superstition Wilderness uh, this morning. It's early December and I'm right at the start of the Bluff Springs Trail. Um, my plan is to head up Bluff Springs Trail to Bluff Springs Mountain and uh, spend a couple nights up there and do some exploring, checking things out. It's a cool, eerie kind of morning this day today. A lot of fog, but uh, should be a, a fair amount of water as well. So. Looking forward to having a little bit of soups adventure. Beautiful saguaros down this little valley. There's a barrel cactus. They always leaned to the south. A little bit of a desert compass. Can't believe how foggy it is this morning. Really unusual. And that's a good sized deer track. And they're heading this way. So I'm gonna sneak up around that corner right there. Let's see if I can see anything. There's something out there in the fog. I can hear it walking. A nice agave. All right, that's Bluff Spring Mountain right there. Uh, I've been hiking for about three hours or so. Still haven't seen a single person. And uh, fog is starting to lift a little bit. So now the next challenge is how to get up that thing. Uh, okay, here we go, some yucca. Pretty nice specimen right here. You can make cord from this. 
really strong cord. Beautiful agave. Some prickly pear, spiky little hedgehog. All right, well, this is where I leave the trail. Uh, I'm gonna head up that way and uh, try to find my way to the top. But there's, it looks fairly uh, doable here. Looks like run into some canyons or something like that, but. I stocked up on water and uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. If I can't make it, I'll turn around and come back down. Let's do it. I'm already pretty high up. I started where those two yellow trees are, the two cottonwoods. And I'm already, it's got some good elevation. That's a good example right there. That's a little indicator that I'm on a good trail here. There's a bunch of scat there too. And then there's some cairns from time to time, just like that. So yeah, follow them all the way up the side of the hill. Ooh, getting higher. Great views from up here. There's miner's needle right there. You can see the eye of the needle. I wonder if I can zoom in on that. Right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm making my way near the top and I discovered a cave. Right there. There we go. That looks like a cave. Um, I'm gonna check that out tomorrow. Gonna have a look at that thing on my way down the hill. Woohoo! <laughs> I made it. This is the top. Look at this view. That's Weaver's Needle. And that's back where I came from. And look at way down into the valley down there. Jeez. Just fantastic from up here. So, now it's time to find a campsite. So hungry and so busy cooking, I forgot to shoot what I'm making tonight. So uh, I'm actually eating it right now. It's uh, just a package of Knorr chicken fried rice. It's you know, rice and pasta. And then I brought some fresh broccoli and carrots and I chopped those up. And I just put it all in the same pot and cooked it all together. I'm trying to go all vegetarian on this trip, so. We'll see. I mean, there's a little chicken flavor, but other than that, it's all veggies. It's delicious. I love it. Got some salt and pepper, a little bit of kev spice in there. It's absolutely delicious. Wow. I'm still in my tent, and this is, this is my view this morning. this morning. Unbelievable. Look at this. So cool. Alright, so uh, start of the second day. Heading back down the mountain. Don't really have a game plan after that. But this is interesting. Um, right there. There's a rock wall and a rock wall that goes all the way across over up the hill a little bit. And I just wonder what that was used for. Maybe cattle or something? I'm not sure.
water. There's a clear flowing stream here. Okay, my campsite for tonight. Looks like a very nice campsite. I got some good views here. Down onto uh, Coffee Flat down there. Got a little fire pit that I built. That's for later tonight. And then I'm scouted out to the end of the rocks out there. Um, just right out there. It's a good place to sit and drink some whiskey. Okay, for dinner tonight, I don't know. Not super exciting, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna make a kind of a loaded mashed potatoes thing. Uh, I've got the mash, instant mashed potatoes, some dried peas, some uh, dried shiitake mushrooms, and freeze-dried cheddar cheese. So we'll mix them all together and see how that works. There you go, loaded mashed potatoes. I like this a lot. Good morning. All right, well, um, uh, that was a very nice night last night, very mild weather. And uh, I just have a short hike out. So that's it for my little excursion to the superstitions. I hope uh, you enjoyed following along. I think it's one of the nicest uh, backpacking places in Arizona. And it sure feels good to be out there in it. All right, till next time, see ya.